Hello guys, Dwayne here, and today we'll be reviewing a dashboard that I created using Cognos 11.1.7. I downloaded this data from Kaggle.com. It's based on job satisfaction and attrition rate. Now, uh, I did have to convert uh, the weekly income because it was in rupees, so I had to do a little conversion. This is based on the company in India. With that being said, let's begin. Now, we are going to be looking at what I put together, and pretty much I labeled everything out by the job role of the company, which includes the human resources department, healthcare representative, laboratory technician, manager, manufacturing director, research director, research scientist, sales executive, and sales representative. Uh, I broke this company down uh, so you can see their attrition rate by male, female, to see if we can find any correlation, uh, maybe in any job department. So what we have here, I separated out the total employees, male, female. We have uh, 2,646 men working at the company and 1,764 women at the company. Uh, if we click on the women, we can see how the women fare, the average salary in each department, uh, uh, the attrition rate, and the customer service, uh, I mean, the job satisfaction by job role. If we look at the women in each department, this would get, this pie chart will give you a total of uh, each female in the department. So we chose a manager. It will be 147 women in the department as shown here. And in that department with the manager, this will be the job satisfaction by job role. One being the lowest, four being the best uh, job satisfaction. Uh, best measure of job satisfaction. Now, if we were to kind of take a look at just as a whole, let's say healthcare representative by men and women, you have 234 men and 159 women which gives you a total of 353 total employees, male, female, in the healthcare representative column. We also have a chart here showing the attrition rate for the employees with no, uh, with attrition, where there's no attrition rate versus the attrition rate. So in the healthcare uh, representative field, we see that there, uh, of the employees male 195 state of the 234 males working and 141 of the 159 of the female state so we can see that they had attrition rate of 39 males leaving and the females would be 18 that left total and we can kind of correlate that with the job satisfaction by job role, like I said, one being the lowest, it seems like compared with the fours, this job department received a lot of number ones fairly high as compared to number fours, which might lead you to believe that a lot of people weren't happy. So maybe in that department, we might want to figure out you know, what conditions are making the employees unhappy in that case, or what can we do to find out why job satisfaction is so low amongst uh, majority, I mean, some of the people in the uh, department. And we can even break that down by the employees. If we click on the one in that department, let's click on the number one in that department. 84 people in the healthcare representative uh, job role 
indicated that they were very unhappy. So out of the 84, 60 of them being male, 24 being female, may have something to do with their weekly income as well. So it's a couple of things we can kind of try to factor in and figure out why the employee attrition rate uh, may be a little bit high and that job satisfaction uh, or dissatisfaction may be high in that area. Okay, now let's say that uh, we, let's say we go to an apartment where there's a lot more people, let's say research scientists. Research scientists, we can see the breakdown of 876 employees that worked that year, 552 of them male, 324 of them female. But if we look at the attrition rate for that department, we can see it's actually probably one of the highest, uh, seeing that they also uh, make one of the higher salaries, actually the second highest salary there. So when we look at the job satisfaction by job role, we can see that uh, it's fairly, uh, it's almost about even male, female who dislike the job role and is actually fairly high as compared to the other ones uh, in that area. So we may have to look at factors such as, uh, or maybe pull out another survey to figure out are the employees, what factors are making them, what Factors are generally making them unhappy that we can probably see if we can do something about. So this is kind of how we can use Cognos Analytics to uh, analyze data for HR and come up with uh, solutions to help out everyone involved. Thank you for your time.